What's up, everybody? Happy Monday, November 7th. I, I was great at the Halloween songs. November was a little harder to find, so I got a little Guns N' Roses November rain for this November 7th call. Guys, uh, great stuff for you today. Thanks for hopping on. We're going to go through our November priorities and really kind of tips to get your month off strong. I know it's the 7th, but we're still really early in the month, and if we focus on these now, hopefully you've been focused on them already, but I want to kind of give you those tips and trips, uh, tricks to make them the most effective in your doors so you can crush these goals. So with that said, um, let me make sure, can everyone see my screen okay? We got you loud and clear. All right. So we're going to talk about um, the boost priorities. So. What we want to focus on is increasing your value added services. So that's your international calling um, to Mexico, and then that's your uh, device protection. You know, depend on your market. Uh, but those, one of those two should be added to every customer sale, right? We're going to talk increasing DOP. If you're not familiar with DOP, that's Digital Operating Platform. Some people used to confer, uh, refer to it as the BTN uh, activation flow. Um, that terminology is outdated because VTN is a network. It is not how you actually activate devices. It's now referred to as the guided sales flow. So the digital operating platform under Quick Links you'll now see is called the guided sales flow. Because why? Because we can activate both networks on it now. Also, we're going to talk about increasing ACP. It's a huge priority for us. Um, this should be something you guys are taking advantage of with every customer every time for any managers who are on this call. If you see a rep not pitching it or for any sales rep on this call, if you're not pitching it when the customer comes in your door, you're letting money walk out of your door, you're, uh, walk out of your locations. I mean, it's a game changer that we have and we need to increase our focus on it because there are still a lot of opportunity out there for ACP. And then of course, we wanna talk about your 3MR, which is important to us each and every month, but I got some tips in there that I think we've gotten away from that we want to get back to, which I will dive into here shortly. So let's start by talking about the value added services, right? And when it comes to value added services, I mentioned every customer that walks out of your door should have a value added service added on at the point of sale. And when it comes to that, it's all about the pitch. It's all about how you are presenting to the customer. So I see two types of refs in the stores. I see refs who utilize uh, what I call the assumption close and pretty much are gonna put it on every customer. They're gonna overcome objections and really make that customer give them a hard no multiple times before they don't add it. Or I see reps that will go through the activation process and then say, do you wanna add device protection or do you wanna add international calling to Mexico? And they're already through the sales process and the customer already thinks their plan is high enough or the bill is high enough, so they don't do it, right? So it's all about that pitch, right? So one of the things I like to talk about, and we do whole calls, this is, you know, I'm, I put a lot of priorities in this call. So, you know, I could do a whole call just on ACP alone, but this one, we're kind of combining them, uh, these priorities. So I want to simplify it into the pitch. And one of the things that I love talking about when I'm training is just thinking about your experiences in your everyday life, right? So like when you guys go to any fast food restaurant, uh, you probably order whatever's on the value menu, whether it's, you know, Taco Bell, McDonald's. McDonald's kind of the staple because that one I think everyone's been going to since they were little kids. But when you think about when you go there, you order that value meal. And there is a reason why these Fortune 500 companies that make billions and billions of dollars price their items this way. There's a reason why they don't say, hey, do you want to spend $250 on a single cheeseburger? Do you want to spend... $2, I guess my prices should be higher now. It's no inflation stuff there, right? So it's like, you spent $3 on a cheeseburger. You want to spend $2 on your fries. You want to spend another $2 on your drink, right? They don't do that. They say, do you want to spend $5 on the number one or whatever that number is, right? And that holds true for every restaurant. It could be Dairy Queen, Burger King, McDonald's. No matter where you go, you'll see everything is bundled because as Consumers in America, we like to have that one price point out the door. We like to have everything kind of bundled together. And so that way we know what we're getting. We don't have these extra fees that continue to add up, which is why I mentioned when you um, talk to a customer and you're giving them their rate plan and maybe you're a new hire on the sales floor 
or maybe you didn't mention it at your pitch and you're going through your activation flow and you say, hey, do you want to add $7 for device protection? Uh, or even worse, do you want to add insurance for $7? Uh, you know, yes, those are the same things, but it's the words that are used, right? Everyone wants to have their phone protected. People don't like pay for insurance. But it doesn't matter what words you use if you are pitching it late in the game like that. If you're doing that, your customer's like, oh, well, I thought my bill was low. Now all I'm doing is increasing my bill? Nope, I'm good. I don't need it, right? So you start high and work your way down. You want to have that full bundle for your customers. And the bundle I'm going to talk about today can be improved upon too, right? Because I'm simplifying this for the call. The bundle I'm talking about is like selling a $67 plan or a $57 plan. Unlimited talk, text, data, plus protection. You know, that's the simplest version of the bundle because you're given that price right up front. Now, if you really want to expand on this and make the most for your doors, give them that out the door price. So, and I've seen dealers do this. They have even kind of cheat sheets. All the cheat sheets, you know, taped up to their computer screen for their biggest selling phones. They'll have the uh, limited talk, text, data plus protection. They'll include setup fee. They'll include screen protector. They'll include, include case. And they'll include the device. And they'll have all the devices listed with this out the door price. It's going to be, you know, 150 out the door today and then $57 per month. That's the expert level. That's where you guys should want to be, where you can give that quick quote. Here's your out the door price and include your taxes and fees and all that in there. And then their and then their monthly price as well. You know, to simplify it for this call, I'm really just talking about the monthly rate plan, which let's say it's 57 or 67, and that's for one line. But again, never assume a one line sale. Make sure you're asking those qualifying questions. How many people in your family need a device? To make sure you are capitalizing on this opportunity. Um, so when you go to those pitch examples, again, bundling everything together, based, you know, when you qualified your customer. Do you by chance watch Hulu, Voodoo, Netflix? Oh, you do? Okay, then you probably want our $67 plan. Well, I'm going to talk text data plus high definition uh, and device protection for $67 a month. You know, based on what you told me, this is what I recommend. Explain what they're getting. So I'm going to talk text data, include their, uh, uh, everything that's on there, include the device protection. And, you know, keep in mind, as, as another one of our keys is DOP, Digital Operating Platform, or what we're calling Guided Sales Flow, which is your black and white SIM cards, they get more data on their plans, guys. Uh, so they're getting more data on those plans as well. So when you're pitching it, that should be your lead pitch. So after you bundle everything, give them the out the door price with setup charges, you'll get all this out the door for, let's say, $125 per month, and the low monthly charge is only $67 per month. Now, overcoming objections. So let's say probably the most common scenario is a $57 single line uh, customer, right? So let's just stick with that one. Now, I'm not saying that's ideal because I also want to push for affiliate plans. We want to push for these higher options, but that's what you guys probably see the most of in your stores. So when you're pitching it up front and you talk about it, it's going to be $57 on so the talk text data plus protection, that's going to collect the majority of their times. Now, when you get objections, so a customer says, no, I don't need insurance. What you don't want to do is say, okay, I can take that off. You want to overcome that objection multiple times because it benefits the customer and it benefits you. So when a customer tells me, oh, well, your science is 50, you know, well, you're telling me 57. Well, yeah, that's because you want to make sure your phone's protected. We put protection on your device. So if it's lost, stolen, or destroyed, no matter what happens, you make a small deductible, you get a new phone sent to you overnight. Um, you know, I just want to make sure that you're protected. The majority of the customers break their phones within 30 days. And this phone, even if you poured it in and got a great deal, say you got your phone for you know $19.99, it could be a $300 phone. So you want to make sure your device is protected. And then if they still say uh, if they still say no, but like, hey, look, I'd honestly be doing you a disservice if I left you leave without this. Um, you can't add it after the first month, so let's put it on there now. If next month you don't want it, just tell me when you come in to pay your bill, and I'll call in and I'll have it taken off, right? So I've overcome the first objection. By, by not just saying, okay, I'm going to say, hey, if you really don't want it, I, I strongly advise you to keep it on there because most customers break the phone in the first 30 days. They still kind of object to it. Just tell me, hey, uh, I've been doing you this service. If you come back in next month, let me know. I can take it off your bill. But you can't add it after today. 80 to 85 to 95% of your customers are going, to, are going to say, okay, that's fine. And what you're going to see from those customers who do keep it, 
there are stats on this of those customers over 80 percent never take it off once it's on there they're going to keep it on there every month because again people love having their phone protected now if they come in next month and they want to take it off no problem you can do that but it's it's just that tenacity to increase your value added services which is key if you want to be a platinum partner if you want to remain a platinum partner you have your goals for value added services so this should be an automatic on every customer you know if don't take that first no give you know give that pushback don't take that second no give that pushback if they still say no after you said hey you know what most customers break their phones i strongly advise it they still say no you say i can take it off next month but i want you to leave your with your protected they still say no then okay you know I, then i guess that customer doesn't get it but if you pitch it this way that i'm telling you right now guys if you pitch it that way to every customer you will see your numbers skyrocket dealers that do this have well over 70 percent value added service attach rates because they've trained their staff to do this with each and every customer and then even you have those customers that may give you other objections like oh that no that's okay i'll just buy a case and a screen protector you know you can overcome that too that's you know that's you definitely i want you to have a case and a screen protector that's great for bumps and drops but boost shield also uh, protects against loss theft and water damage so it doesn't matter if you have a case of screen protector if your phone's stolen or it falls in water or falls in the toilet that phone still doesn't work so yes we want you to get those things too but you still want to make sure you have that device protection so it doesn't matter what the objection the customer gives what i'm telling you is overcome those objections the easiest one to overcome is people who are objecting to your value added services now i'm really talking about boost shield here yes international calling to, to mexico is also very important um, but i know that depends on your market right if you if you have spanish-speaking customers they're probably going to get that automatically because it is such an amazing deal unlimited calls to canada Mex uh canada and mexico for five dollars that's an amazing deal right but if you're not in, the, in a market that maybe has a lot of that or even if you are you should be putting that boost shield on every customer at every opportunity any questions on the value added services before i move forward Next, let's talk about increasing DOP, Digital Operating Platform. We used to call it BTN uh, activations, but again, BTN is no longer the term because that is a network, not an activation process. So if you go to, again, quick links on the sales portal, you'll see it's now called, um, uh, it's, it's now called Guided Sales Flow. Uh, so it's now called GSF or Guided Sales Flow. That's what you're gonna hear it referred to now, right? Because Guided Sales Flow, you can do both white and black sim cards now you guys got these white sim cards sent you automatically and i can call down my list of doors and i'll still have doors telling me what are these white sim cards is this gen mobile you know i, I ring it i'm like no that is not gen mobile so your black sim cards are the boost transform network the at&t network which is done over the system called elevate web or guided sales flow the white sim cards are the boost expanded data network or the T-Mobile network, which can now be done on Elevate Web or the guided sales flow. Okay, key here, guys. It doesn't matter, and it, it, you kind of got to retrain your brain the way we thought of this, right? It was, oh, we're pushing so hard, we're, pu we're pushing AT&T network, black SIM cards, black SIM cards on DOP, all time, all time, all time, right? We've been telling you that for months. Well. Priorities have shifted, priorities have ad ad adopted, or they're now giving you both networks on guided sales flow. Now, let me tell you the whys behind this, right? Why, why are we now saying you can sell both of them and they're now on the guided sales flow or GSF or Elevate Web? The goal is to make your lives a lot easier and only have one platform to activate your devices. That one platform will be guided sales flow. Now, back when we were in Vegas, they talked about the goal was to have it by end of year. I don't necessarily see that happening because there are, are still a lot of customers on the orange SIM cards. And there's a lot of value to that, which I'll talk about in just a second. But I can see progress is being made towards that goal. So it's coming. You know, sooner than later, it's coming. Sooner than later, your, your lives will be simplified. We will have one way to activate phones. That'll be the guided sales flow or elevate web. So 
With that said, if you have new customers, new to Boost, walking in your door, every one of those new customers should be on a black or white SIM card, which is through the guided sales flow. Why? Because now it doesn't matter if they need the at t network or the T-Mobile network. They're both able to be activated on the same network. This is the, the activation platform or the system we will be using moving forward. And your customers get more data when they activate on a $50 plan on the black or white SIM card than they do the regular orange SIM card. So it's better for your customers to get more data. Better for you. Your stores actually have a spiff in place. It's more profitable for your stores to activate on the black or white SIM card. So there's no reason for these customers not to be set up on this network. If you're not, and it's quicker, right? And it's quicker as well. So if you're not doing that in today's world, my key takeaway from today's call, make sure every customer that comes in your door, if they are new to Boost, goes on a black or white SIM card. Now, the orange is still important, and I say every new customer goes on black or white SIM card, right? Why do I say that? Because if you have a customer who's already uh, has maybe two or three lines, and they're on orange, and you and you call them, and you're pitching in Adeline, well, that has to that has to still be orange, right? Also, ACP is still extremely important to our business. It's one of the next key talking points is the ACP program. ACP is still exclusively orange. Now, will that change soon? I think so, but currently it's orange only, right? So orange are still important, but they should only be used if it's an ACP customer or a customer who has legacy two, you know, one, two, three, four lines who's adding on to those orange SIM cards. If it's not those customers, you want to go on the black SIM card for at t network or the white SIM card on the T-Mobile network. All right. One other key point here. Uh, you cannot switch uh, or you cannot have customers on multiple networks when it comes to the guided sales flow. In other words, if you got a customer who has the black SIM cards on BTN, all the lines have to be BTN on the black SIM card network. If you have customers who sign up, on the Boost Expanded Data Network, which is the um, T-Mobile network. I don't know if I, if I misspoke, the black is at t yeah, the white is T-Mobile. If you have customers on the T-Mobile network, on the white SIM cards, they have to be added to that Boost Expanded Data Network, which is on the white SIM cards. So in other words, keep your uh, colors of your SIM cards consistent for whatever plans your customers are on. Um, again, there, to identify what network the uh, existing customer is on, you can use the sales portal network indicator. If there are any processes different between the networks, they will be noted. But again, if you go into Elevate, select Guided Sales Flow, select Existing Customer, select Dish Sales Portal, and the PTN and pin of that account that is like upgrading, for example, and it'll tell you if it's on the black SIM, which is the BTN, or the white SIM, which is the BEDN. Any questions on these new white SIM cards that you guys have all received? and the importance of activating on the GSF, Guided Sales Flow, Elevate Web Network, because that is a priority, guys. It is being measured. Your stores are being measured on this in November. It's a big, it's a big key, so I wanna make sure you guys are aware of this. Any questions on this? Okay, just a reminder too, when you guys are looking at your device promotions, there are specific promotions that are available only on the GSF network, the guided sales flow only network. So uh, for example, the following offers should only be activated using guided sales flow on the Boost Spend a Data Network, White Sims or Boost Transform Network, Black Sims, the free iPhone SE2 port offer, the free Moto G 5G port offer, the Moto G 5G BOGO offer. Activations on the legacy sales portal on the Boost Expanded Data Network, the Orange Sims, will be allowed on the free iPhone SE promotion and the Moto 5G Boca promotion only in the scenarios where if you happen to be on this call and you're in the Puerto Rico market, um, if you are in a store that does not have Elevate at all, or if you're doing ACP. Um, the last scenario where that would be allowed is existing customers on the expanded data network who are adding a line. If you're not in one of those scenarios, those must be on the guided sales flow network. All right, moving forward, let's talk about increasing your guys' ACP. So I've had this slide in a few ACP 
calls in the past, and again, I, you know, I'm kind of cliff noting a lot of these calls into this one were to, to really focus on all these behaviors. But the key takeaway here, um, if you happen to be on the phone, you're not looking at the screen, is kind of four dealers and four different behaviors from four strong dealers, four platinum partner dealers, right? Um, that was taken mid month, and, and the differences between dealers was kind of staggering and a big coaching opportunity. You had dealer A, which I would say is the model, right? They're they're leading with ACP and they're leading with handsets. And why is that so important? Well, if you lead with handsets, not going with zero dollars, of course, but with a five to twenty uh, or the thirty, those customers are going to be huge profit drivers because those are paid to your store. Uh, if it's a 20 or 30, just like your tier one compensation, which I won't go into numbers, but it's tier one comp. If it's a $5, it's tier two comp. Uh, and it helps drive your 3MR. It's been proven customers who are in ACP have about a 15 per, for the phones. Customers are in ACP for the phones and are actually paying a monthly bill, so not zero, right? Have about a 15% higher 3MR rate than your other customers. So why is this so important to your doors? Well, 3MR, again, is part of being Platinum Partners. So if you want to get there, this is an easier path to get there because those customers, think about yourself. If you have a bill that's $50 or a bill is $20, you know, it's much easier to pay that $20 bill or let's say $27 because even on the ACP, you can add device protection. So we're always bundling that in. So a $27 bill is much easier than a $57 bill, right? Now, dealer A, they're doing all these handsets. They don't sell any $0 handsets. Why? because they want that customer coming into their store every single month to pay their bill. So they're still getting that traffic and they can still pitch ad lines. They can still give them upgrades as far as cases and screen protectors because they're skin in the game for that customer. If you're in a zero dollar plan, there's no skin in the game, you know, who knows what they're gonna do. So they, they go at least five, they go five, 20, 30. And uh, five is easy to talk out of because the five, it's only 10 gigs and it's a hard cap. There's no extra data. So you at least want to go 20 where you get 35 gigs. It's unlimited, just throttles down, right? All day, that talk track works. So the majority of the plans are actually $20 ACPs, which is the exact same as our $50 plan, or rather $27 ACPs they are putting bundling with device protection. You have dealer B on here, a dealer that isn't pushing ACP at all. They're a platinum partner, but, oh, it takes longer to activate. Eh, I don't know if it's worth it. We're just not pushing it, right? That's a huge miss because dealer B has stores down the street from them that are crushing ACP. And when the word is getting out there, there are so many booth stores out. I can get the same plan as dealer B is offering at dealer A and I can pay 30 less dollars per month. You know, those customers are going to go to dealer A and those you're going to see those sales slip uh, from dealer B. They're really missing the game there. Then you have dealer C who liked ACP, but Maybe they got burnt by chargebacks a while ago and some, for some reason that's stuck in dealers' brains, even though it doesn't happen anymore. It's stuck in their brain, so they went to like tablets because tablets, you know, it's zero dollars and you're um, paid upfront month one, no chargebacks. Well, good you're selling ACP, right? Not gonna, not gonna knock you for it, but you're leaving so much money on the table because tablets, again, only make money in month one, whereas a phone makes money just like a new customer does. So it's way more profitable. And those customers walking in your door, it doesn't matter if they're looking for a tablet or whatever, they're still boost customers. Now, I'm not saying tablets are bad, tablets are fine, but you should be leading with your handsets. And then you have dealer D on here, which is the kind of the balance dealer doing handsets and tablets. That's also a deal, right? You're leading with your handset offer. They say, no, I don't need an extra line. No problem. What if I can get you a tablet today? You have no monthly bill. You have 10 gigabytes of data for a year. Great Christmas gift for the holidays coming up, right? So just wanted to kind of talk about those behaviors and how to shift that focus. If you're not one who's leading with handset sales, lead with handset sales when it comes to ACP. Ask every customer about ACP. If you are clerking your customers and you're taking a bill payment, you're not talking about ACP, you are missing a huge opportunity. And if they say no, they don't have anyone who's a phone, but they have SNAP, WIC, WIC or Medicaid, they say no to the handset sales, then pivot to that hand, uh, tablet opportunity, right? The tablet opportunity is still great for your customers. So, uh, kinda, I kind of hit all these main points here. I'm going to skip over some of these. Um, but I did want to give this one, right? So when I talked about that dealer A who has a uh, fantastic attach rate on ACP, their conversion is 70% of some stores, 60% of some stores, you know, and they're taking 300 payments per month. So very impressive numbers, right? So what are they doing? What's their secret sauce? Well, they've said they're willing to share their best practice with you guys, so I'll share with you now.
They're basically offering customers six rate plans, which their doors truly sell. They give the customers these options, which plan best fits your need. And you guys can create something like this in your own store, right? So they give the five or the 35, which you'll see it's uh, both of them say, um, unlimited talk and text, 10 gigabytes of data. You have the 20 or the 50. Unlimited talk and text, 35 gigs of 5G, 4G data, 12 gigs of mobile hotspot, add line for 30 months. So they're 20 and 50. 30 and 60, again, you'll see the same thing. I'm gonna talk text and data, 35 gigs of 5G, 4G data, 30 gigabytes of mobile hotspot, add line for $40 a month. So Mr. and Mrs. Customer, uh, here's our six plans. Which one best fits your needs? The five, the 35, the 20, the 50, the 30, the 60. What happens, your customers say, well, the 20 and the 50, these, these look exactly the same. I want the 20. No problem. That's called um, the affordable connectivity plan. And so do you have Snapbook or Medicaid? We can see if you're qualified for that. You know, and then they run their application and they qualify and they give them that plan. If they don't, oh, this is our, uh, oh, no, I don't have Snapbook, I don't have WIC, I don't have Medicaid, I don't qualify. Uh, and even if they don't have Snapbook or Medi Medicaid, you shouldn't necessarily not run their application. You can still run it because maybe they qualify based on income or another factor, right? Um, okay, we can check and see if you qualify for it. Those are the government plans where the government pays $30 of your bill per month. If not, the other ones are our standard rate plans. But let's see if you qualify for these government offers. So pitching like that to your customers is so effective. It's tried and true. This is a best practice from a dealer who was number one in the entire United States of America for ACP. All right. So another key takeaway for you guys is to utilize this slide, this information I'm telling you to position in your doors. All right, and then we're talking about the, the plans on there. You guys are aware that the hotspots in there. So, uh, oh, I guess key, key call out when, before I move on from ACP. If you guys are doing the tablets or hotspots, for example, or even phones, uh, very important your customers use the service on that at least once each calendar month to continue receiving their benefit. If you don't receive uh, service on those devices every month, the government's not gonna pay it. So if you sell a tablet, um, you number one, you should be going to YouTube and playing the video right away before the customer leaves your store to make sure it works. I recommend, uh, and same thing for hotspot. If you sell a hotspot, connect to your YouTube to your phone, play a video, make sure it works, connect to that customer's hotspot. Now on a tablet, I recommend you probably turn the Wi-Fi off so when they go home, it uses the network's data first. The reason why is if they go home and they connect, a, a, say, a tablet to their Wi-Fi, then it's never going to pull off of dishes or boosts data, right? And so what happens and when it comes to month two or month three, maybe then they finally take that tablet out on a road trip and, oh, it doesn't work. Where's my data at? Well, if you're not using it every month on Boost Network, the government's not going to pay uh, the money for a device that has zero usage. So as long as you use it, you have a year of service on there. But if you don't, then you, you could see that those payments stop. So very important, you coach that, you train that on the tablets, which is another reason why I like the phone option of ACB so much, because, so much, because if you know if a customer gets the phone, they're gonna be using that each and every month. All right, so ACB again is a game changer. The more you offer, the more you're gonna sell. Never clerk a payment when it comes to ACP. Leave with that phone number, phone offer every month because customers are gonna use it. Um, and then if they say no to that, again, never accept a first no. Overcoming objection, then give them that tablet or hotspot offer. All right, moving on, increasing 3MR, increasing 3MR. So uh, what I stuck in here is by leveraging smile and dial. So one of the key points I had was increasing your 3MR, right? And so what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is Increase your 3MR by leveraging smile and dial. Smile and dial numbers, from what I've seen, have gone down pretty drastically. I mean, the goal for your stores is 10 calls per month, minimum, or 10 calls per day, minimum. 20 calls per day is the goal. And when I look at all my doors, it's like people, it's not front of mind. We stopped doing it, um, whatever the case may be. That needs to change, right? Three, uh, smile dial is so important for so many reasons, but the main key here is that I wanna talk about is your 3MR. You have those buckets of your customers who are in the third month. You can see what phones they have. You can see when their bill date is. Reach out to those customers. 
Hi, my name is Adam at, at Boost One Two Three Main Street. Want to give you a courtesy call, check and see how your service is working. You know, I'm you know I'm going to go to my pitches. I'm going to talk about, hey, do you by chance have Snapwick or Medicaid? I could probably get you a, a, another line of service for a limited uh, limited talk text data plus protection for only twenty seven dollars per month. Is there any family who might need a line? You know, or if they're on a fifty dollar plan, I can keep your bill at fifty dollars and get you two lines of service. Um, and if they say all that. Do you have any kids who might need a tablet? We could actually put a tablet on there. We well, have no monthly bill to get you the tablet, right? They don't like that. I'm going to pay with to an Adeline opportunity. Okay, no worries. We also have a great Thanksgiving promotion coming up. We can get an Adeline, get you a $200 phone for as low as $25. Is there in your family might need a phone line of service? They say no to that. No worries. We thank you so much for being a customer of ours. And then I'm going to hit my 3MR. I see your bill, due, bill date is November 25th. I'll make sure you come in and see us before then. Thank you so much for being our customer. We really value you. Have you have a great day, right? So you can give all your pitches, is what I'm trying to say, and then you can also tell it, remind them when their bills do without sounding like a bill collector. I'm gonna start the call off. This is a courtesy call from Adam at 123 Main Street. Just want to check and see how your service is working, right? This is how I would I start off every single call that I do. I don't ever read those scripts out there, I personalize it. Um, so, and you can you can see what phone they're on, right? So this is Adam at 123 Main Street. I should have said, hey, this is Adam at 123 Main Street. I see you've purchased your iPhone SE from us, right? So now they know they may, they know my name, they know what store I'm at, and I can tell them what phone's in their hand because that's going to be an attention getter, right? Oh, they know I have an iPhone SE. They know I have an iPhone 7. They know about, you know, whatever that phone is. You purchased your, whatever that phone is from us, just want to give you a courtesy call, check and see how your service is working. So what have you done in that opening two sentences? You're not a bill collector. You are someone local to their community and you know them because you know what phone's in their hand, right? That's a big difference than me getting a scam call from somebody who's like, oh, is your windshield cracked? We have window repair, you know, right? So you personalize that and you start with a courtesy call it just, it's a nice setup. This is Adam from Boost 13 Main Street. Just want, uh, you got your iPhone SE from us. Just want to give you a courtesy call. Check and see if your service is working. That's my icebreaker. I lead every call that way. They know who I am. They know the store that I'm at. They know they purchased a phone from us. They know I know what phone they have. And I'm just checking on them. It's just a checkup. How's everything going? Okay. Very easy, two sentence way to break the ice and get the walls down from the person you're talking about. Because I know I don't like telecommunication uh, calls, right? So lower those, lower the guard of your, of your customers, get the walls down. And if they have any concerns or issues, you acknowledge them, and you, and you pivot to those sales. So do you by chance have Snapwick Medicaid? I'm going to ACP. If not, I'm going to the Adelines. And then if, if not, my last thing is I'm reminding them when their bill date is again, because what I'm talking about is increasing 3MR, and I don't want these customers to not pay their bill. Just a reminder, your bill is due on the 25th. Can't wait to see you. Coming into our store, we'll take care of you. Thank you so much, right? So you've accomplished so much in a two-minute phone call that no other carrier has. Cricket doesn't have this. Metro doesn't have it. No one else has the opportunity where they can reach out to uh, their customer base and pitch ad alliance, pitch ACP, help drive 3MR, it's exclusive to Boost. So we used to do very well at this, and I will say that there's been a loss of focus on it. And what I'm asking you to do is refocus on this to drive not only 3MR, but the other partners as well, ACP, Adelines, Gross Ads, all that stuff. Your smile out needs to come back into play, guys. If you've slept on it, increase it now. Goal is 10 calls per day. Make sure you disposition your each call on the phone as well as on the computer. Don't just dial a number. You have to dial your 800 numbers and follow the steps between each and every call. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. Are there any questions out there? I don't see any questions. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Have a great one. We'll talk to you next Monday. Have a great November. Thank you.